Atomic clocks. The words atomic clock might be making you imagine a doomsday machine ticking away the seconds before it explodes and wipes out our entire planet. But actually atomic clocks are one of the most peaceful inventions that emerged from the knowledge of the working of an atom and its parts. When humans began to track the passage of time thousands of years ago, they did it by watching the movement of the sun across the sky. And a second, for example, was defined as one eighty-six thousand four hundredth of a solar day. Atomic clocks, however, are much more reliable than the motion of the Earth because they're based on very fast oscillations of an atom. Oscillation is the change in the flow of electrical charge between an atom's nucleus and electrons. The frequency of the oscillations is a bit like the swinging of a pendulum in a grandfather clock, but it is incredibly precise and consistent. A cesium atom, for example, oscillates at over 9 billion cycles per second, meaning it keeps time much better. Atomic clocks do not use cesium atoms to keep time. This might seem funny, since I've been telling you all about atoms and oscillation, but the part that keeps time is a standard quartz crystal oscillator. That is a quartz crystal, which when subjected to a certain current, vibrates at a certain frequency. The difference is that in ordinary quartz clocks, the oscillator is tuned accurately when the clock is built, but over time, slight variations develop, making it a little fast or a little slow. In an atomic clock, however, the oscillation of the atoms is used to check the frequency of the quartz device, which is what gives the clock such amazing long-term accuracy. Cesium atoms are funneled down a tube where they pass through radio waves. These are generated from the vibrations of the quartz crystal. If their frequency is just right, then the cesium atoms oscillate and change their energy state. This means that an electron absorbs some of the energy from the radio waves and jumps to a higher energy level. A detector at the end of the tube counts how many cesium atoms reaching it have changed energy states. The more finely tuned is the radio frequency, the more cesium atoms change state. The detector feeds information back into the radio wave generator and synchronizes the frequency of the radio waves with the peak number of cesium atoms striking it. Finally, the atomic clock keeps track of the quartz crystal oscillations to know when a second has passed. Now you know all about atomic clocks. Thank you for listening. Created using Powtoon.